Hello, this is a demonstration of some principles of engineering. It's a bridge and it incorporates some of the principles of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, even electronic engineering, civil and structural engineering. And I'm sure we could fit in aspects of other engineering disciplines as well into this particular demonstration. To show how this works, I'll just go through uh, its operation first of all. This is a bridge, it's called a single leaf bascule bridge. This here is the motor that drives the bridge and when I press the button, you see that the bridge rises. I'm holding my finger on the switch so that the bridge continues to lift until it reaches the highest position and even though the motor is continuing, the bridge stays fixed in that position. I can now reverse the switch and I can lower the bridge. It's now ready to allow traffic to cross. So we can imagine a truck. So here's the truck crossing over the bridge. So, mechanical engineering features because we have things that move. We have the truck, we have the leaf of the bridge that can be raised and lowered, we have the power plant, which in this case is an electric screwdriver. It contains a battery, a motor, and a gearbox, a planetary gearbox inside. There's a switch that allows the screwdriver to turn clockwise or anti-clockwise, and that allows me to raise or lower the bridge. The screwdriver here is connected by a pulley. This is a pulley and a drive belt, which is an elastic band, to a shaft. And that shaft is a roller for the cable that lifts the bridge. So when I press the, the switch to turn on the motor, you can see the bridge rising. If I stop, the bridge stays in its position. The cable passes down over a pulley here and up over another pulley and is attached to the, uh, the rising part of the bridge. This here is an electronic timer and I can use it to measure how long it takes to raise and lower the bridge. So if I go back to the fully down position I can start the timer and raise the bridge and see how long it takes. So, I'm going to do a test and time how long it takes for the bridge to rise and how long it takes for it to descend again. So starting now. Three seconds, four seconds. See the bridge rising? When it reaches the end position it, it will stop. And I stop the timer. Eighteen seconds is the time taken to raise the bridge. And reset the timer. Now I'm going to lower the bridge by operating the motor, the screwdriver, in the other direction. Ready? Start. Five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, ten seconds, eleven seconds, twelve seconds. So it took twelve seconds for the bridge to go down. It took eighteen for the bridge to rise up. We have some examples there of a, a simple experiment or engineering measurements. And of course we're using an ele electronic device, the electronic timer, to do that. A bridge like this would be on a, a very large scale, of course, 
and uh, would be an example of civil engineering. Structural engineering also comes in because we can see that this here is a structure. We have the truss to give this uh, leaf of the bridge that spans a river, for example, uh, the strength that it requires. Electrical engineering is represented by the power source here, which is a battery uh, and the screwdriver. In reality, that might well be a power station connected by the electricity network uh, to the power, uh, the drive for this bridge, which might be a large electric motor, perhaps operating with a hydraulic system as well to lift the bridge. So there we have some examples of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronic engineering, civil and structural engineering. So I hope that has given you something of an idea of what engineering involves. Thank you.